welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And um, today we're in Houston. We've got the Ophi container trailer and the Arnook uh, compatibility pack for the fancy containers. And uh, got an old school skin underway for the SCSW900. I thought I'd done one. <laughs> Jeez, somebody reminded me I hadn't. And, uh, you know, since the update. So. We'll talk about it a little bit on the way. We, we best get going. Not super far, but uh, it'll take us a little while to get there. So, um, we're in Houston. We're going to Corpus Christi. And, uh, yeah, we got to... Well, I guess we could drive around the front here. Yeah, let's just drive out forward here. Oops. <laughs> So this skin, man, you know, it's, they put so many accessories uh, in this mod, or this, you know, the, the SCS upgrade, and uh, it's pretty insane. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, we're okay on fuel. Uh, yeah, there's like, I think I lost count, I think 32, 33 different accessories to paint. And I got up to, I think I managed to get to 20 some out of them. But what happened is I was on a really, you know, one of those stupid government phone calls where, you know, your wait team's time's going to be an hour, hour and a half, something like that. So I just put my phone on speaker and set it on my desk and I started working on this skin so I wasn't wasting time sitting there. And this is as far as I got, plus a little bit. After the call, I probably still spent another hour on it. Um, but I thought, what the heck? Be something cool to do, get this thing sorted out. Get it up on Steam before uh, today's Tuesday. I'm making this, and gonna be uh, starting today. A real busy week. This afternoon, I gotta go and set up a carburetor for a guy, and uh... now this time we're not gonna get fooled going over here. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, are we? Oh, we better zoom this thing in. Oh, it's the one time we are gonna go to the right. See, she says go straight, and we were meant to go that way. Uh oh She's messing with me again. Well, what the heck? This is messed up. I'm gonna look at the map. It changed just as we got there. Yeah, we gotta go this way and turn here. God darn it. God dang, that freaking map is just out of, out of hand. Give it up, honey, you didn't fool us this time. There we go. That's what was originally there. Abutment's kind of hanging out there. Got uh, Creech Bombs uh, 444 Cummins going here. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. 
So let's see, what do we got on here? 34, call it 35,000 pounds of sugar. So, uh, I'm not 100% sure how the skin lines up around the back without the spoilers on there. Uh, gotta check that. And then I gotta do the, um, well, go over with a fine tooth comb, I guess, and then get the, uh, 72 inch and the day cap. This is the 86. I generally start with the biggest cab and then work my way down. Oh, this is cool here. I wonder if I've ever been on this road before. Doesn't look too familiar. Wow, look at that, eh? Oops, going all over the road. Enjoying the view. Those are cool. Go straight. What are those? Are those F5s? I don't know. It's hard to. Could be. I know the F5s got that sleek little look and twin engine in a, in a very small airframe. A lot of wind noise out here at this engine. It's almost unbearable. Let's see if he's, is there something we can do about that? She's got this massive view going on. And this racket is ruining it. Let's go world noise, ambient sound noises, interior. Let's turn that off. Truck noise, volume, trailer noise. Truck effects. Let's turn all that down. This has got a quiet turbo. We can turn that up. Let's see if that sounds any better. Nope. Maybe slightly. There's Houston. That's cool. Well, maybe that's marginally better. I'd sure like to find out which one of those sliders. Gonna have to take the time. Check it out and see which one is the one that makes all that annoying freaking racket. It's just static. Like, it's, it doesn't sound like anything. If anybody knows what the premium sound setting is, let me know. I wonder. I might have time to get around this wide load up here. Heavy, are we again? 35. Sh 
should be good for a fifth gear start. Skip a few. Ninth. Oh, wow, what happened there? Twelfth. Fourteen. Yeah, we got him. You know those combines, uh, they weigh them in at 44,000, I think. In the game. Oh, there's Kings County over there. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I'm doing in this... This one. I've got, um... The three garage mods in here, the big garage. Uh, got the uh, Kings County, as you saw there. Uh, Hell Creek Trucking and Old School. And I put the old school one on top, so my home garage is old school. And uh, yeah, it seems to work fine. We're gonna see. Well, you know, we'll just kind of pay attention to what we see in traffic. That was a neat little route out of there. Let's uh, take a quick boo at the map. Yeah, now we're in. The old familiar territory, this nice drive. Cool. Another John Deere. Oh, jeez. Hey, <laughs> guys. Was it yielding? Nothing happened, but, well, nothing happened to us. Man, this truck is brand new. Got no wear on it at all. So I'm using my, uh, the Hell Creek Logistics old fee trailer. But yeah, the truck is taking shape. Accelerating about the same as we did when I was skipping all those gears. <laughs> oh. Let's see if we get for a drive by with this truck. Oh, that's a good one. I hope when the uh, dust settles on this car show and everything and we get back to it, I can get these garages updated properly. The uh, Hell Creek Trucking one is on my Discord and a link to it on my Google Drive and that's under the Hell Creek Trucking VTC channel if you want it. And there's... Uh, If you're, if you're wanting to join that VTC and you don't know how, there's a link to Trucksbook there and all you got to do is make a Trucksbook account and then search for the Hell Creek VTC and apply for a job. And all it is is just, you know, something to log your miles towards. You know, we don't have dispatch and all that stuff. We don't expect people to run any particular livery on their truck just do what you want to do just don't go over 79 miles an hour and lose your miles because race miles don't count over 80 and over is considered race so that's even takes into account passing so 
there is a link in the pinned messages, and I, I pinned, uh, Keep right. I pinned the, um, mod link for the garage. I also pinned a link to the 79 mile an hour speed limiter. So, hopefully I have that in here, I can just sort of demonstrate it. You go to, uh, game preferences and under truck settings, Under truck settings, you enable uh, the 65 mile an hour speed limit, and then the mod changes that to 79. Keep right. No, oh, keep right. Oh, there we go. One of the slow little vans ahead of us, but we're turning right away, so. With any luck. Or maybe he is, so he is good. So let's see, I'll just check and see if I got the speed limiter enabled. Uh, hold on here. If I can't make my cruise control go over 79, it's enabled. Oh, I can, so it's not enabled in this profile. Or I haven't enabled it. Well, that's a good thing to check, actually. Let's just go into options. Game preferences. Go down to truck settings. Truck speed limiter is not enabled, so there, we'll put it in. Now, we'll see if we can get our cruise control to go over. Oh, it won't go over 65. <laughs> I don't have the mod in the profile. I don't think we're going to be going over 65 on this trip anyway. We're just going to Corpus Christi. But yeah, that's what you got to do. If you, you put the mod in your profile, somewhere up near the top, you can put it above engines and sounds. Works. Pretty much works almost anywhere in the load order, I would assume, but that's where I put it. stuff over here. So we're gonna have all kind oh, all kinds of painted bits on here. Fenders and bumper and step and all the front bumpers. I got all the front bumpers done. Although I'm carrying a chrome one on here. The paint jobs are pretty much all they do is put old school down on the left left side of the bumper. Oh, there's that goofy uh, mod putting uh, trucks in traffic. There's an old school W900 loose. I say about this skin Oh, I got it laid out on the door. I don't need... Oh, boy, what's he doing going through a red light? Wow. You guys give me heck for rolling stop signs. <laughs> that AI, I tell you. So anyway, yeah, getting back to the door, you know, it's just old school on the door. There's nothing further down, so it fits across the uh, the window if you got it in the door. In this uh, version, I got the door, the solid door on there. No safety window. But that's a little less work than getting the skin out. This reminds me when I drove uh, down to uh, Key West, 
in the Florida Keys. Some drives I think I've ever had driving across all those bridges down to Key West. That was a neat trip. The uh, just seeing the unexpected, and yeah, it was it was good. Enjoyed it. Um, They're driving a, a motorhome, 27 foot A class, whatever they are. And uh, they're going across one of those long bridges, whatever you call them, I guess they're bridges, or links, or causeways, whatever. And uh, cruising along, I don't know what, how fast, 55 miles an hour or something. And uh, an old pelican comes up, and he's flying along right outside the pastor's window. And they have such funny looking things with their big S neck, you know, they look like they're all kind of laid back. And he, uh, just flying along. I think he, I don't think he was flapping his wings. I think he was gliding on some kind of you know, thermal that was going on. And, uh, he's just there doing this and looking over at us. And Probably for about, oh, I'm going to say 15 seconds anyway, which seemed like quite a while. It was kind of neat. Shoot, I gotta take a photo. Probably a good place to do it.
That big Corpus Christi is. In real life. I always thought of it as a sleepy little kind of spring break town. Never got around to getting over there. Um, I guess it's uh, got this big port, this big bridge project's been going on forever. Must be a lot bigger than I ever thought it was. gonna go to the old school garage after this trip but I don't think we're gonna have time is uh, we gotta wrap this up and I gotta get ready to go work on that uh, carburetor nothing big it's just uh, setting it up right so that's all bolt it back on his truck and try it out here. and thought, I guess just the container, my brain was going, even though I probably saw where we were taking it when I got the job, but I was thinking, uh, shipping yard, dockyard or something. Well, oh, there's, uh, Walbert. It's not the one we're going to, I guess. That's weird. mile an hour. Little deck truck. Some spools on it. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Well, I guess that sign was just out in the corner over there. All makes sense now. I got another pretty big truck. Let's see what they got going. Oh. Well, I'll have to go and turn around down in the uh, far corner. Trailer short, anyway. Where is it? Wait a minute. What do we got on here? Yeah, it's short. Bunch of stuff in the way down here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see how long are we? Oh, rats. All right. I have to do it a different way. Put it in a high speed reverse here. quite enough room to get out of this pickle. Oh, we gotta... Let's see.
get up over the curb here. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to see if we can just you turn it we can just get away from the building a bit. Like this. That's two days in a row with a weird uh, delivery. At least the trailer wasn't long this time. <laughs> Backing up to the door. I don't think this container has an opening backside on it. I really like this Sophie trailer though. H3D Arts. Okay, well, there we are. Two eighty nine. Sweet little motor. Engine. All right. Well, there we are, guys. So uh, gonna have to just leave it here and run off because uh, places to go, things to do. But uh, this skin isn't real far off. I should be able to... Hopefully you see it uh, link in the video and if you don't it's going to be out real soon because I don't have a lot left to do to it and even with all the stuff I got going on I can probably find a way to squeeze it in and get it done. So um, just a little patience and uh, we'll get her done. All the best, guys. Take care. Catch you on the next one, and bye for now.